The worst mistakes in self-improvement and how to avoid them. Are you sick of always feeling like your goals for self-improvement are falling short? Disappointed with the lack of development you have experienced in your personal development journey? It happens more often than you might imagine. A fulfilling life depends on self-improvement, but it isn't always simple. Straightforward, etc. Despite your best efforts, you could end up falling into traps that prevent you from achieving your goals. Progress and induce feelings of surrender. But there's some good news before you give up. There are ways to get beyond these roadblocks and resume your course. If you're prepared to open the door to more fulfilling and profound personal development. Adventure, then continue to look. Number 1. Wanting to make all improvements at once. Although it is wonderful to want to improve in all aspect of your life, it is crucial to to focus on it as you approach it. A lot of frustration can result from attempting to do too many tasks at once. It's best to prioritize and divide your objectives into smaller, more achievable chunks. Steps. It enables you to focus all of your time and effort on one issue at once. You can increase your performance by taking a progressive approach and concentrating on one area at a time can advance meaningfully and steadily. Setting unrealistic expectations is number two. It's normal to set lofty standards for yourself when it comes to your ambitions. However, if you consistently set goals that are above your existing capacity or resources, you, you might discover that you frequently fall short and are frustrated. Your confidence and motivation may start to decline as a result, starting a vicious cycle. While it's necessary to push yourself, it's just as crucial to set realistic goals. Within your grasp are reasonable goals. Number 3. Not putting what you've learned to use. It can be difficult to choose the right course of action when you have too much information on your mind. Steps to be taken next. In addition, it's possible to develop a self-help addiction, in which you believe that learning about self-improvement is the same as moving forward. But doing so can give people an addictive false sense of accomplishment. Keep in mind that real growth isn't made by merely absorbing information, but rather by making decisions regarding the issues that truly matter. Put some of the important tactics into action by concentrating on them. Lacking consistency. Number 4. It's simple to lose focus on your quest for self-improvement when you're enthused by the prospect of a shift. But you won't likely have much success if you merely put up sporadic effort. You must build a consistent strategy if you want to create the conditions for long-term success. Regular practice and routines build a strong basis for continual improvement. Improvement. It involves taking tiny, consistent actions that eventually add up to substantial gains, as well as more satisfaction. Neglecting to assess what isn't working is number five. When attempting to better yourself, you might have particular methods or procedures that you use in mind, which is fantastic. However, if you don't regularly assess your progress, you can pass on opportunities to modify. You must succeed in whatever it is that you desire, or worse, keep trying. That are ineffective or are only making you more frustrated. Since there is no one-size-fits-all approach to self-improvement, being open to evaluation and modification. Using tactics is essential to accomplishing your goals. Focusing too much on the outcome is the sixth. If you are only concerned with the result, you might not notice the progress you have made. And focus only on the distance between your current situation and your ideal situation. Instead, it's crucial to value and relish the journey. Every improvement, every minor victory, and every lesson learned are precious in their own right. Owns itself. You can develop a sense of contentment and satisfaction, even joy, by accepting the process before you arrive at the intended result. Eliminating your favorite activities is number seven. Maybe you believe that you need to stop doing things to improve yourself. You delight, but you must understand the importance of bringing joy and pleasure into your work. Prioritizing and moving in the direction of growth are important, but entirely giving up. Burnout and a feeling of unfulfillment can result from engaging in rewarding activities. Maintaining balance and putting self-care first will enable you to work toward your objectives. A feeling of satisfaction throughout. Being too hard on oneself is number eight. In your quest for self-improvement, difficulties will always arise. 
and failures. It can be tempting to be critical of yourself or believe that you have failed at these moments. Failed, but it's important to be kind and understanding. When difficulties arise, you have the option of approaching the circumstance rather than criticizing yourself. With goodwill and comprehension, by engaging in self-compassion, you realize that failures are a necessary component of development and education. This way of thinking enables you to keep going forward, pick yourself up after setbacks, and learn from them. Forward. It is empowering to start down the path of self-improvement. By staying away from the most typical errors and adopting a proactive and optimistic approach to personal, you can design a journey that is genuinely transforming. Accept the difficulties, acknowledge your accomplishments, and have faith in your capacity to go further into the character you hope to become. Self-improvement is not always simple, but with perseverance and commitment, it can lead to to a happier and more satisfying life. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and tell your friends about it. We can continue to produce them. Click the subscribe button to see more videos like this, and don't forget to click the sounding of the alarm. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for viewing.